This I wanna nail sports to the one Top blog or top YouTube channel No matter which sports here we got it covered Subscribe and hit the notification bell What's up my wonderful peeps? Sports to the bone in the house again man Shout out to all the viewers, subscribers and the followers Big up on yourself! Alright my viewers, so we have two cricketing stories to zoom in on but before we touch any of that, I want to say a shout out to all the persons that joined the live show last night. It was indeed a good talk. Yeah, man. So uh, in this video, we want to take a look at uh, Jaden Seals. Yeah, man. He's saying that he's ready to make his West Indies white ball debut after tasting success in the Lanka Premier League. So we're going to be looking at that article that is covering what Jaden Seals is saying. And we also see where the, the head coach of the female teams, Kurt, um, Courtney Walsh, he is being praised or he's being thanked for bringing in the right people. You know, they are saying that the thing is moving in the right direction and he brought in the right people that will definitely help the, the team to improve. So we're going to be looking at all of that. Also, my viewers and subscribers, well, my viewers, if you have not yet subscribed, go right ahead and subscribe to the channel. Turn on the post notification bell so you will be notified once a video has been uploaded. All right, so I am on the Sportsmax website here and they are saying fresh off a successful Lanka Premier League, Jaden Seals ready for Windy's white ball debut. Right? Ah... Uh, the, the article starts and says, with the West Indies one day international series beginning on Saturday, Pacer Jaden Seals is feeling relaxed ahead of his maiden stint in the West Indies white ball setup. The 20 year old Trinidadian Pace, Trinidad Pacer has already represented the region as we know at the highest level. You know, he would have taken 16 wickets in four test matches with his debut coming against South Africa when he was 19. Think that game was played in St. Lucia. Now, they are saying his talents were first put on display for the world to see at the 2020 ICC Men's Under-19 World Cup, where he spearheaded the West Indies attack and was one of the most um, impressive bowlers in the tournament, finishing with 10 wickets in 6 matches at an average of 18.30. Alright, so they say, speaking at a press conference today, Ahead of the start of the Ireland series, Seals spoke about, com, um, about coping with pressure as well as how staying away from the negative comments and focusing on um, his cricket has been key to his early success. He is quoted as saying, and I quote, I think I'll be under pressure most of my career seeing that I'm the, younger, I'm the youngest in the team. If I don't perform, then the media and everybody will say I'm too young. So I tend to just not focus on, the, on that stuff. I don't really go to social media during series or during games. I tend to stay off social media and stay away from comments. I just talk to my parents and to my family back home and keep my mind away from all the negatives and focused on cricket. I just go out and enjoy my cricket and play to the best of my ability. And if on the day I happen to perform well for the team, then I'll be very pleased, says Jaden Seals. And that is a very good way to put it, my viewers and subscribers. As a young man, you know, young people are joined to social media very much. They, they can hardly stay off it. So I am thinking that if this young man is able to stay off the social media like that, in the middle of the tour, then that can only sp spell good for him. I mean, so far in his career, I doubt anybody would have had anything really bad to say about him. You know, mostly kind words. But this is a good way to put it because, you know, you, you might have a bad day out there and then you go on social media and see people tearing you down. So I guess this is the right way. Just stick to the positives and try and put in the work. Right. Um, the article concludes by saying, fresh off the suck off a successful stint in the recent concluding Lanka Premier League, um, T20, where he took 15 wickets in seven matches to help his um his side, the Kings, defeat uh, defend their title. Seals will be hoping to make his ODI debut for West Indies. Um, one they they take uh, oh, oh when they take on the Irish on Saturday, um, January 
8 at 9.30 a.m. in Jamaica at Sabina Park. So, Jaden Seals, my friend, they, everything is there for the taking. You understand, we don't, right now, we don't have any settled pace bowler in the ODI team. So, you could be that man. Here, Azari Joseph is there, yes, but he's not settled. So, you could come in and be that settled pace bowler who, who, who is expected to lead the attack. And by, by your look, you could be playing test cricket and ODI cricket coupled together. You know, um, don't know about T20 and West Indies cricket because they like to pick all rounders. They don't really pick out and out pace bowlers in, in our T20 side. So, you, you know, in no time, this man here could be the, the, the lead, one of the lead bowlers in the test team and in the, in the ODI team. So, you know, I'm going to be going to be paying keen and um, close attention to to what he's able to do when he go up against the, when he goes up against the the Irish because at the end of the day you know you can only you can only um you can only expect what you put in so you just have to put in the work and see it go and I mean he's talking positive you know this is how we want <laughs> to hear our young people talking you know so this is this is something good a lot of the young people when even when they are in the middle of a tour once they are not on the field, the first thing they do is run for the phone and go on, on social media. You understand? So, this is good to see. Alright. Mm -hmm. So, that is it for, for the Jaden Seals part. So, let us move on to the, to the Courtney Walsh um, thing. No? I am seeing an article here and they are saying um, he brought in the right people. Head coach Walsh making good moves for the West Indies woman claims Matthews. So apparently Matthews is saying that Court, um, Courtney Walsh would have brought in the right people and they are doing well. Now West Indies women's all-rounder Haley Matthews has hailed the impact and um, the approach of head coach Courtney Walsh as the team's noticeable recent improvements. All right, Walsh took charge of the team in 2020 and the back of a difficult period that had seen the West Indies women swept aside 5-0 during a tour of England and four straight series defeat prior to that. Now, the team was also the subject of criticism for their overall fitness levels. And based on what I'm seeing here now, it seems as if Walsh would have um, gone in and he would have changed certain things because we have two players that were nominated for ICC awards, if I'm not mistaken. And we had Mohamed and, and now we, we know Matthews. They are there. So, you know, it's real good to see... Um, the, the, the team improving so they say fast forward a few months later and a fitter looking with uh, Wendy's women have shown signs of improvement putting together much stronger performances that saw them win two of the last three ODI series right Matthews believes a new approach has slowly started to show um, to, to show benefits for both herself and the team she's quoted as saying I think being I think it's been fantastic just looking at the structure, our entire camp and training session have been going really well. He's brought in some fantastic coaches to work with us. You have Corey, uh, Corey Callimore as a fast bowler coach. You have Ryan Austin as, a half, um, as our spin coach. And um, Steve Liebert for the fielding and the wicket keeping. And then Robert Samuels. As you know, has been working with us for the batting as well. So I think there is really good balance at the moment. Matthews told Mason and Guest Radio program. So, um, you know, bigging up her coach, bigging up Courtney Wash. He went on to say everyone has been getting a bit more zoned in on the specifics, and um, that's something that we were missing in the past. So this is so this is sounding good. You know, this is sounding good. Um, she went on to say not having as much um, firepower in the coaching area, really breaking it down to the basic and those general areas. So, you know, not really looking to, to, to explode anything, just looking at the basics. You know, she said that's been really good and um, Courtney's, Courtney has done a fantastic job bringing in the right people to blend with the girls. Right, so Matthew has explained um, all of this. You know, she's saying that um, her, her exceptional season, her you know, you know, she can contribute it to the work that has been put in by by the coaching staff. So, shout out to Courtney Wash and his and his team. You know, it's good to see that they have started off well, and we're hoping that they are going to keep it 
up so yeah we're gonna leave this one right here my viewers and subscribers if you have anything to add you know you just go in the comment section and let me know what you are thinking about it so let's go and big up on yourself my peeps